up for Chris Putra. Thank you very much. Woo. What's going on, guys? Let me start off with this one. A couple of you might have seen this already. <laughs> I got this in the mail, and I don't know if you can see this here. Brochure for LA Valley College, local uh, community college, junior college, whatever. And uh, there's this girl in the front, this uh, this fat Mexican fat Mexican chick, part of the redundancy. Please don't laugh before the joke is completed. Fat Mexican chick. I I'm guessing her name is probably Ruby or something like that. She looks like a Ruby, and and she's very happy on her graduation day, waving to her family and everything, getting her associate's degree in her cap and gown. I see this and I'm thinking, this bitch has a lot of fucking nerve. <laughs> Let me explain why. You're at a junior college. Let me remind you of that. You're not at a real school. There are millions of kids in college, real college. Most of them are stupid as it is. You're not one of them. Junior college is pretty much like being in the 14th grade. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you do get a, deg a degree, an associate's degree, but come on, that's pretty much like uh, like the medals they give out at the Special Olympics. Second Special Olympics uh, reference of the night. We are a sick bunch. The medals they give out at the Special Olympics, uh, uh, you know, the kids aren't stellar athletes by any means, these retarded kids. They're, they're not champions, but they give the kids these medals just to make them feel good about themselves. Associate's degree, kind of the same thing. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, Ruby, you know, fine, you get to dress up for a day, but now that you're done, please stop wasting my tax dollars and your little fake education. It's not going to get any get you anywhere. Go back to doing something you're good at, like popping out babies, you big fat fucking lump of shit, you. <laughs> Fuck you, Ruby. <laughs> Fuck you straight down. Uh, all right, uh, let's get let's get a little nastier here. Uh, so this is the news: uh, 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 animal shelters in Los Angeles are uh, apparently. Apparently having trouble getting rid of their black dogs. People want to adopt the, the, the white dogs, the tan dogs, not so much the black ones. And uh, they're trying to come up with reasons, like maybe you can't see their facial features so they're not as cute with the black fur. But come on, I've had black dogs, maybe some of you guys have had them. We all know the problems with black dogs, right? They're loud, especially when you take them to the movies. They, uh, they're always impregnating the other dogs. You can't teach them, there's that smell. They, uh, you can't buy them regular dog food. They only eat like fried chicken, watermelon, collard greens. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cost extra that way. They all voted for Prop 8. They still think OJ was innocent the first time. The list goes on and on. So, wow, you know, usually the brothers like that one. White people are like, oh, all right, should we laugh at this? But yeah, all right, I loosened you up a little. Uh, let's keep going. More news, more news. Uh, Hillary Clinton confirmed uh, last week as Secretary of State. You like this? I actually, I like, I like her whole story a little better than, uh, than uh, Obama. Because Hillary was running for president for like a year. Uh, trying to get the nomination from Obama, trying to become the first female president, uh, break that glass ceiling. But in the end, she had to settle for being just another secretary. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we've, we've escalated from moans to boos here. Uh, way to know your role, Hillary. Take a typical job there for a bra, leave president to a man. It's in the Constitution. The, the media totally glossed over this. Article 2 of the Constitution. To, to uh, become president, you have to be 35 years old, have a cock and balls, be a resident for 14 years and and a natural born citizen of the U.S. All right, that was just filler material. One more here. Uh, uh, this guy uh, in uh, Wilmington a couple days ago down uh, <laughs> south. <laughs> oh, good, you like this one. Uh, he's seen all my material before. Uh, uh, I want to call him Rufus. Irvin Lupo is his name. I finally remembered his name. Uh, I guess he and his wife lost their job, so he he killed his wife. Killed his five kids and then killed himself. And uh, I don't know about I don't know if you guys are like me. I'm thinking you're not. <laughs> but uh, me, you know, the way I cope with these things when something you know uh, something shocking like this happens uh, in the wake of such a horrific tragedy, for me the the first thing I do is uh, I go look him up on MySpace or Facebook and uh, Adam is a friend. Oh. Uh, because I've never met him, but I've never met a lot. You know, people here tonight, I might say, you know, hey, good, you know, saw your setup at the UCB, nice job. I'll just tweak it a little bit, saw your suicide note online, nice job. I know he's never going to read it, he's never going to be offended by my material, but at least if one person, like, logs in and checks his account, like, uh, you know, the police <laughs> or a family member or a Facebook employee, even if that one person can get disturbed or offended or feel uncomfortable, at least I know I've done my job. All right. Just the way I made you guys uncomfortable tonight. Thank you. Uh, Chris Putra, ChrisPutra.com, MySpace.com slash ChrisPutra. You guys have been great. Thank you. Woo!